Hi guys, now we are analyzing Part C Organic Problem of CSIRnet June 2019 Chemical Sciences. Just look at the given problem. The major product of the following reaction sequences. Okay, just look at the given substrate. We have aldehyde functional group on it, and other substrate that is methyl acrylate is given, and followed by DAPGO as a catalyst, and followed by benzylamine. Okay, we know that DAPGO is a base. Now just uh, draw the structure of given substrate okay right just expand aldehyde now i'm just drawing the structure of acrylate in suitable form for the mechanism just observe it here we have given with the special base that is DAPCO. Just uh, try to draw its uh, structure here, which contains two nitrogens in its ring. Okay, and now you can see that tertiary amine. DAPCO is a tertiary amine base. Now, DAPCO always attack from the conjugated carbon onto the alpha beta unsaturated ester. Okay, so this is very very important point. Just keep it in your mind. Now, after attacking on beta carbon, a double bond goes here, and electrons goes here, and here is a formation of negative charge. In the next step, negative charge comes here, and double bond goes here, and formation of negative negative charge again, and which act as nucleophile and attacks on aldehyde carbon of other substrate. Okay. By taking a proton by the negative charge on oxygen, we can get uh, next step as just to draw it fluorine, chlorine here, and C, OH, hydrogen here, and then C, CH2, and DAPCO. Okay, right here, DAPCO with plus charge. Now, CH, C double bond O. O M E. Okay, so this is the step we can observe. Now, by just observing it, it is a famous named reaction that is Bayless Hillman reaction. Okay, the main advantage of this Bayless Hillman reaction is the use of DAPCO base as catalyst. Here, the DAPCO base is the best leaving group. Okay, in all the all reactions, we can get alpha beta unsaturated alcohols, but OH is uh, very difficult to cleave from it. Whenever we use uh, DAPCO here, which is a best leaving group, and that is the advantage we can observe in Bailey's Hillman reaction. Okay, right in the next step, simply hydrogen cleaves, and here is a formation of nitrogen and oxygen, and which goes here and double bond comes here and that go cleave from it okay right in the next step simply we can draw as fluorine fluorine and CHOH now C double bond CH2 and here C double bond O O methyl group okay now next step is adding benzyl amine so another important step, benzyl amine. Here is a question. Is benzyl amine going to attack on conjugated carbon or is it going to attack on ester carbonyl carbon? Which is the correct option here? We have two options in the uh, options of the given problem. As of one, whenever benzyl amine is going to attack on conjugated carbon. In the second option where the benzyl amine is going to attack on ester carbonyl carbon. So just remember that due to the bulkness of this amine, okay, benzyl amine, so steric repulsions are observed whenever it is going to attack on carbon, uh, that means ester carbonyl carbon. So it is unfavored attack. Whereas benzyl, benzyl amine preferred to attack on conjugated carbon and which stabilizes that, uh, uh, that means that ester and in the next step, Simply, we can get the final product as you seen in the first option. That's why here, 
first option is the correct answer for given problem okay thank you very much